Greetings YouTube, Oklahoma Bridges here, and I'm going to discuss Aladdin Lamps, uh, Uranium Glass, and why you should own a black light. And this is a part one of a two-part video on uh, black lights and how they can be useful to an uh, antique collectors. And this first part has to do with glass, specifically um, as it applies to Aladdin Lamps, because I'm not a glass collector in general. And then part two will discuss black lights as they relate to alarm clocks because they are very useful there. So this, this discussion is going to center around using a black light to determine whether the glass that your lamp is made out of contains uranium or not. Um, uranium was used in a lot of the pre-war Aladdins for the making of the glass and I've got a couple Aladdins here with me including um, one right here which is lit and producing some nice light and uh, we're going to look at these lamps and we're going to shine a black light on them and it's going to be very obvious whether these lamps are uranium bearing or not when the black light shines on them and I've got these three here in the foreground are definitely from the 1930s the one in the background I think is from the 1950s so it's probably not going to have any uranium in it at all and it will not do what these other lamps will do and the black light I am using is one which you can buy at your local Lowe's hardware store. It looks like this. It's just a, a compact fluorescent, uh, I'm sorry, a, a LED bulb with a standard medium base Edison uh, screw thread um, base on it. And I'm using it in, um, in this. Since I don't have this mounted in a lamp, I can just use this handheld. And I'm just going to screw this in there and um, let me dim the lights and I'll turn this on and I'll show you what's going to happen with these three lamps and how you can tell which ones have uranium in them and which ones don't. Okay I'm going to switch the black light on and right away I think you can see what's going on here. If you notice this lamp the light coming from the black light is really a violet color and when I shine it on this lamp I get violet light coming back and I see I get violet light coming back here this lamp as you'll recall when the light was on a moment ago was a pinkish color glass and the black light shining on it reflects back uh, fluorescent green instead of uh, violet like this lamp does. If this was reflecting back like this it means it does not have any radioactive material in it. There's no uranium in it. This lamp on the other hand is reflecting back this green color and therefore has uranium in it. This lamp over here gets very excited and fluoresces very nicely and I think it's not coming very through very well with the camera and this one also has uranium in it and you see that how it's how it's very yeah look at that okay if this was not a uranium lamp it would be more like what this lamp over here is doing when the light shines on it or through it okay so that's why you should have a black light you can get these pretty inexpensively and I'll show you what the um, use a bright bulb here show you what this looks like Okay, so you can get a good view of the color. This 
see how it changes the color this is not this is not bright green and neither is this but the black light hitting it causes that color to reflect because of the nature of the material with the uranium in it this does not there's no uranium in this glass anyway Oklahoma Bridges and thank you for watching join me for part two where I'll be looking at clock dials.